Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Ravencoin, RVN. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go down below, hit that subscribe button. While you're down there, if you can tap the like button, I would really appreciate it. All right, Ravencoin. I'm going to start us off here on the daily time frame just to do a quick recap. We've been following this triangle pattern that Ravencoin's been in for a very long time now, just waiting for that breakout. My estimated breakout uh, timing, which is never accurate, it was actually right here, uh, which, uh, yeah, we should be breaking out this week. So uh, we're going to push that a little forward. You can never really estimate the timing. I just put here this here because most triangles break out uh, roughly in the 70% area of the triangle, and that's what this was. I believe it was like 74 or 76% or something like that I had put this triangle at. So we're just going to push that a little bit forward. It's not a big deal. We have actually until the end of the triangle all the way uh, December 11th, 2023, uh, before technically this triangle needs to break out and do something. Uh, but for now, we'll just push this a little bit forward. So some things I've been noticing here, I'm going to zoom in on the chart a little bit on the daily time frame. I've noticed that we're forming some kind of uh, ascending triangle here. And the breakout uh, would be right around this area right here. That would be April on Monday. So Monday looks like a possibility for a breakout of this ascending triangle here. The price target for that I've put right here. Price target is roughly around the 0.4. One three area it doesn't quite get us to the blue line up here to retest the upper part of this triangle, uh, but you got to remember that the breakout isn't going to go straight up in the air. Uh, it's going to basically, if it does get a breakout, we'll break out, retest, zigzag a little bit, and then finally reach the price target, which is around that zero four one five. It could be all the way, uh, all the way in June. Actually, the beginning of June would would uh, be when we'd reach that price target, and it would also kind of line up with the, um, excuse me, it would also line up with the top of this triangle here. But uh, again, that's just a price target. It doesn't have to actually hit that accurately. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. But it is something I'm seeing. It looks like a breakout is coming. We're just fighting against that 200 weekly, nope, excuse me, daily EMA again, uh, which is this blue line right here. We've hit it. So we broke above it over here, fell back below, hit it again hit it again, got rejected, and we're just kind of moving sideways uh, in this triangle pattern right here. Going down to the 12 hour time frame, seeing some good stuff here. So I put a fib from the bottom right here uh, to the top right there. And you can see that we've been kind of just holding this 618 Fibonacci level. We had the push up, uh, got rejected, came back down, and actually we're above the 200 uh, EMA on the 12 hour that doesn't really mean much we still can bounce around here a little bit more but uh, the moment we break down from this support uh, this white support line I've got right here which isn't drawn perfectly accurately let's kind of move that around there there we go uh, so once we if we break uh, through basically this 618 right here from this uh, fib level uh, and break through the white line of this support here then yeah we're probably going to be coming back down to retest the blue down here and that's not a good sign at all a good sign is, though, that we did get some volume coming in here on this push up, trying to get us up there. Um, it was just, I mean, Ravencoin's kind of got these little spikes here. You got this one volume here, one volume here, one right here. You got a big one right here. Uh, just waiting for more volume to come in is really what we're waiting for. Uh, it's taking its time. But uh, one other thing we can look at is uh, this could be like a one, two, three, four, five. This could be the two right here of another one two three four five on the elliott wave so basically this could be a one two the three would be the breakout and bring us all the way up there maybe even break through come back down get rejected off of that which i'm assuming we will which would then bring us to the four and then the fifth wave could be the breakout of this triangle pattern which would then lead us to some kind of an abc to retest that triangle pattern right there and that's kind of my thoughts uh for the future of Ravencoin for this year of 2023. I mean, that does bring us, uh, actually, that only brings us into May, basically, where I drew these. I mean, it's not going to go exactly where I drew these lines, but um, I mean, yeah, you could see this possibly happening sometime in the summertime, having Ravencoin have a nice breakout to the upside. 
Uh, but yeah, the one, two, three, four, five, and then an ABC correction. And another thing to uh, look at that's another uh, thing I noticed was if you take the Fib extension here, you go from the start of the one to the top of the one down to the two, the breakout target actually hits the breakout um, target for the third wave. Actually, most uh, most of the time, the third wave comes up to at least the one, six, one, eight is the minimum target for a third wave. So that does line up nicely for the third wave to get all the way up there possibly breaking up above the 1618 uh, which was the target for that third wave the minimum target and then getting the rejection maybe even the fourth wave because this was a long uh, wave two uh, wasn't a very quick one um, the fourth wave could be a quick fourth wave and it could just come really quickly back down retest the 1618 maybe come down to retest this area right here uh, but then after that fourth wave, get the breakout to the upside and then ABC correct and retest this pattern right here. Um, so that's kind of what I'm looking at uh, for Ravencoin. I mean, we're just waiting to see if we can fill this gap right here is really what we're waiting for. This gap is kind of concerning me uh, until we can get up and get some candlesticks up in this area here. It is a little bit concerning that uh, it basically what it's saying is Ravencoin's getting weaker in this triangle as opposed to stronger. And if you're looking for a breakout to the upside, you obviously want Ravencoin to get stronger. Another sad thing is, is over here on the right-hand side, you can see that almost everything's in the green except for Ravencoin and then Voltinu, of course. But uh, Ravencoin and the Ravencoin BTC chart. And actually, let's look at that really quick. The Ravencoin BTC chart uh, fell apart, and that's another thing that is concerning me as well. So we were following this Ravencoin BTC chart uh, in this triangle pattern, waiting for that breakout to happen. Uh, came up to the top, got heavily rejected, and now it just looks like it's coming up to possibly retest the bottom of this um, triangle pattern as resistance and then kind of maybe fall apart from there. Now, you don't need to be too concerned about this if you're in the U.S. dollar because, I mean, you could have Bitcoin. I mean, basically, this is just against Bitcoin. So, I mean, you'd want to be in Bitcoin if we're falling in Ravencoin, really. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, that doesn't mean that the U.S. dollar price of Ravencoin can't go up. Um, if this is even lagging behind as well, this could just go sideways for a long time and the USD price could be going up uh, in value, but that would just mean that the Bitcoin price is just going up in value higher than Ravencoin in the US dollar value, if that makes sense. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got for Ravencoin. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.